Ladies and gentlemen, what you see before you is a starving Marvin. Marvin's going fishing again today. But what I want you to realize is that there is something else that you don't understand that's going on in the background. Morning. What's going on that you don't see, ladies and gentlemen, is the winds of change that Obama was speaking about when he gave his inaugural address in 2008. And what those winds of change actually mean are in fact the winds of death. Because ladies and gentlemen, if you will notice, and you can't not notice anymore, there is no more sun. The sun is broke. And although I find it hard to admit, the people that have been talking about the sun disappearing for the last two years, and perhaps three years on YouTube, were correct about the sun disappearing because it's gone. No longer do we have sun in Key Largo. And it took me that much time to understand that what they were saying was true. This is a typical sunrise in Key Largo with no sun. The sun will come up in a few minutes and then it won't be seen at all for the rest of the entire day. There will be no sun. It will be nothing but clouds. Ladies and gentlemen, the sun is broke. The people on YouTube that are making note of this are trying to warn the people of this world. They're warning you that they have taken away the sun for whatever reasons. Maybe there are many valid reasons, but one of them is to put you into a state of depression. Ladies and gentlemen, they're doing this to remove some part of our humanity. And right now, there are people on YouTube screaming about chemtrails and about the evil politicians that aren't talking about the chemtrails and about the evil people that are putting the chemtrails in the sky itself. We do not have a sun anymore. In a few minutes, the sun will supposedly rise on that horizon, and I have watched that sun rise on that horizon precisely where the camera is pointed now for a good solid 13 years. And you know what? Never has it been such a depressing state as it is the last three months. Because for the last three months, the sun is broke. These people that call themselves our leaders, these people that call themselves humanity's best hope are a bunch of false leaders leading us down the path of destruction. And who would these leaders be? That's right. One of them would be Barack and St. Obama. Another of them would be the Queen of England. What do these leaders pretend and purport to be? They purport to be our masters. But what are they in reality? They are all part of a secret society, 
a secret society that has existed on and in this world for millions and millions and millions of years. You might find it hard to understand that these people, or what they call themselves as people, are actually doing and going against humanity for a multitude of reasons. There's enough reasons that it can't even be explained in a one or two hour video. 